Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Ganty Plans. Uh, today, we are doing a flip with me. <laughs> a flip through. There's no with me of anything. Um, it is early. I'm back to my filming in the morning schedule. But it's not as early as I'd like, so I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as I can. Um, there is another video coming up in a couple of weeks that's a, um, like, 2022 setup where I'm going to try to save, like, detailed how the planner works for that video. Um, so today I'm just going to give kind of an overview of the layout of what's in here. Um, I think a section was removed, so stay tuned see if you notice that. There's new things happening in, for example, the Christmas section. So here's the overview. Um, this is the insert number 57 from my shop, the uh, tab index. I need to get into the habit of using this more because instead I'm just like checking every tab and then it takes longer uh, than it would have to just flip to the back and see where it's supposed to be. But then I'm starting to remember where things are. Like I know where this tab is. I know where this tab is now. So that helps. Um, so yeah, there you go. It's going to be like stuff in the front. It's general, yeah, project stuff. And let's actually just go there. This is the uh, file effects molded. I, I haven't said that yet. And I use this Pilot G2, which just sticks in the rings because if you've ever used a file, well, okay, I can't say any file effects because I've only used Maldens. At least the Maldens have very small pen loops. And this one is also like, the layers are coming uh, separated inside. And so I just have this paper clip holding it down. Uh, there's stuff in pockets, of course, mostly stickers and then wallet stuff. So I won't go into it in today's video because I'm trying to keep it brief. These frosted tabs and dividers are all from Marlene's Plan to Create, who is on Etsy. That's two, with the, the number two. Um, I don't know. I'll probably try to remove, like, change some of the dashboards and stuff around at some point. I've got an inbox here. I use insert 37, which is the flip the fold out list um, so that I don't have to show it to you, but that's what that is. It also has um, on the part that flips out, I've got like some routines and then on the inside is the stuff that I don't really want to show everybody. This is that to do list. It's sort of a weekly to do list that I made um, in last month. No, my last month's weekly plan with me. I haven't filled it up yet, so I guess things aren't getting added to it as much and it's kind of nice to not have to rewrite stuff. Some of these, I guess, are not as important um, because they haven't gotten done yet. Others definitely have, and that's been fine. I haven't needed to make a new list. So it's not not working. Um, if there were anything on here that were super urgent, it would get done, I guess, because, yeah. This here, I sort of made a... Uh, <laughs> I felt like I needed to sort of have a space to put things within weeks leading up to the holidays. Uh, and say like, okay, I need to get the the cookies done at some point. You know, I can't put a, push it all back. Um, so far, I got all my decorating done. Um, I thought that I was going to spread that out over a few weeks, but I got it all done pretty pretty quick. So that's good. Um, I haven't been referencing this that much, but kind of having it there anyway. A waiting on list that really never gets added to. Um, this is uh, a twenty twenty two like future log which I haven't started filling out yet. I probably won't right away, but this is like the 52 weeks. So when I need to, when things get crazy and I need to assign like a project per week instead of trying to get it all done at once, that's what this one's for and it's ready for that. These are some smaller goals and projects. This insert actually comes from Peanuts Planner Co. I think it's very clever. A sudden day maybe list, which also doesn't really get added to very often. Uh, this is my list of things that need to get like fixed or project like craft projects to work on. Um, and I don't reference this ever, but I really need to because I, I don't know. I've been letting myself stay up a little bit later and watch some TV sometimes because second trimester I have a little more energy. And so I really should be spending that time like fixing something instead of just sitting there. So these top tabs are for month, weekday. Month also includes future log, as you will see. So this uh, is the December. I did this all in the plan with me, so you've already seen it. The month on one page, the um, Eisenhower matrix, which I'm thinking of maybe moving the stuff from this list to the Eisenhower matrix and trying it out. 
So far, I've only put one thing here. My husband's in charge of Christmas cards this year. And then a monthly review. I put this in for last month and I never did it. So we're going to see what happens. Oh, this is still last month. I still have November in here. So that shows you how often I'm flipping to the front. It's a problem. This is 2021's future log. And this is 2022's, which I've only just started to fill out like uh, company holidays. So I need to move stuff from this one to this one. And this one, oh, let's see. So this is the future log itself. This is part of the future log. And then this is the far future log for anything beyond 2022. And then these are school calendars, which I'm not showing you, but they're all just folded up um, and they fit in here. And I reference them every so often. I need to know just like when school early at release days and stuff are. This one is the monthly task list, like things that need to be done every month. And I'm excited to sort of pare down all the stuff that happens on these recurring tasks li task lists. This insert I'm only going to use for things that happen like every six weeks or on an irregular schedule. Anything that happens on a recurring monthly schedule is going to be on this one, which I think will make it a little easier to see. But I'm going to start with that in January. So as things get finished off here, I'll move them over there. That makes sense. Library books. Uh, I pulled out a full page of these. We've been going more often and it's been great. Um, and actually, as I'm recording this, I need to renew some books today uh, so that we don't get fined. It's been good. Then this is the birthdays and anniversaries insert number 55. Um, I need to move faster. Here's the weekly section. Um, she's very cute. That's, that's her school. So this is what I've been in this month. I'm going to, I think maybe even switch things up in the middle of the month because I'm working on releasing new uh, weekly inserts this month and I am itching to try one. So I think next week when I do my weekly plan with me, it might be a completely different layout. But that was last week, this week, and then I have them printed out. But like I said, I think I'm going to switch to something different. Um, there's already one that's up that's like been published and I was going to post about it on Instagram and then haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, these are some dailies. I made one for yesterday as I'm filming this. Uh, it's just good to have a space for some dailies. Though I think I need to print out some more of these ones because these are just general purpose and they're nice. Then I have some more different ones. I have the uh, productivity daily, the cleaning daily, then the weekend daily. And then this is a Peanuts Planner Co. freebie daily. Then this first side tab is for content schedules. Um, I'm not going to show you December because there's enough of it left that I want to keep a surprise. But here's like October and November are still in here. I just keep track of what's coming up and it's nice to see it laid out by week so that I can make sure that I don't forget anything. This next side tab is my pregnancy stuff. This is the pregnancy bundle from my shop insert 40. Um, first, there's the countdown to baby. Um, I'm not going to show you the back of this, which is where I actually am. But basically, you write out all of the dates. Um, and so then you can reference and see like on the date. The, wow. I don't know if you heard that. That's my daughter waking up. Um, month, date, and you can see how many weeks along you are. That makes sense. It's been actually very helpful. Um, I just need somewhere to reference and know, like, planning ahead, how far, how many weeks am I going to be at Christmas? How many weeks am I going to be at this next appointment? Stuff like that. I would show you the back, but it is opposite a list of doctor's appointments, which I don't have a, a blank page to show you, but obviously can't show you my real ones. Um, and then there's a questions for doctor page. Uh, which is just useful to bring along and open up and have discussions. Then there's a page per week here, and I have not really been doing much with it. I just put the dates. Sometimes I have a symptom that I jot down, and sometimes I'm better at it than other times. Um, currently, the baby is the size of an heirloom tomato, um, and that's really all I've been really doing. Maybe I'll get more into it as, you know, it kind of comes and goes as you're interest in tracking every single thing. Um, and then this is like a monthly to-do list. So in month five, which I think is coming next month, I'm going to make a packing list. There you go. I'm not going to pack my bag until month seven, 
I need to run my breast pump and then I need to like, yeah, we need to get a car that fits three car seats. And then I have some notes jotted down for postpartum. That's this important stuff because that's where you really need a list to keep your brain for you. So this is the packing list for the go bag. Um, I haven't printed out every part of the bundle yet, but because uh, some of them are more applicable later, but I'm going to be starting kit counting at some point, I'm sure. Next tab is Christmas stuff, if you couldn't tell. Um, I This is already set up for tomorrow because background, like, and now obviously I'm telling you, so oops, but uh, I already like colored this in for Friday's Instagram post. So um, that's why it's colored in ahead of time. But that's just a fun little countdown thing. And it gets me flipping to this section of the planner more often. Holiday traditions. I've just been crossing off and checking off things, um, just ideas. It's good when you have little kids to remember what, uh, you know, kind of traditions are nice to bring along. And there's room for, there's like a blank list on the back, which I haven't really used for like uh, a general to-do list or anything, but it is important to have that. Then, um, let's see, I, there's a events and parties thing. You can watch the entire bundle video where I go through all of it, but I don't want to show you too much. Cause like, for example, I don't want to tell you where I'm going to be at holiday parties and I don't want to tell people who watch my videos what they're getting for Christmas. So there's Christmas gift planning and then Oh, some blank. There's a blank checklist here, which I haven't filled out. I need to like, I make a master to do list from the Christmas gift list, which is by person instead of make it by store. For example, I already have one for Michael's and then there's some notes here for stockings and shoes for St. Nicholas day. So that went well. Um, and then, oh, here's my holiday movies list. You can definitely see this. We've been making a little bit of progress, but our three-year-old doesn't like anything with scary scenes at all. So we may not get to some of these. Um, there's some puppety ones. There's some claymation ones. Those are good. There's a veggie tail. Then this next tab has, oh, nothing. This is the tab that used to have like garden stuff, but I wasn't really using those spreads. And I do still need to set up that one that I got, um, Anyway, there's stuff, but I am just living my life one day at a time and some things just don't get done right now. This is my meal plan insert, which I always forget I need to print more of until I'm out. And so that's why it's a mess because I'm like jotting down stuff to move to a new spread when I print them out, which I haven't done yet. Um, but I was doing some meal planning yesterday and grocery shopping. And then here's some gift ideas. For example, this, this one here. Um, these puzzles we're giving away. We donated these puzzles. We get like, you know, extras of gifts that we already, or like toys that we already have. And then they just live in our closet and I have to notate who they were from so that we make sure that we don't give them as a gift at something that they're going to be at. Separate side of the family or separate whatever toy drive at school. And it wasn't a problem. My to watch list I've been sort of working on. Um, wow, an MCU rewatch. And I should wrap up because my daughter sounds like she's not happy with daddy. So, um, the last tab is just spare paper. Um, this is this prototype that one's coming out actually pretty soon. Um, and then I got some new sticky notes from Peanuts Planner Co. Those are in here. I have extra paper. That's pretty much it. I keep my, um, credit cards and stuff back here between these pieces of protective acetate. All from Peanuts Planner Co, by the way, and that's pretty much it. Um, I use this as my wallet and stuff. Sometimes if I'm just running into a store, I will only bring this and it makes me feel very fancy because it's so pretty. Uh, I hope you liked that. Comment if you have questions or if I left anything out or glossed over it too much. I know I had to hide a lot of stuff because it's time sensitive information. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Like I said, I'm going to be trying out a new weekly spread. So I will see you then. Bye.